very hard to understand the, the very, uh, very important issue within a very short time. But I, I think still, uh, I'll try to summarize for what the standard of the view is looking into this problem. At the beginning, I, I see that people are comparing uh, with, uh, with Vietnam, for example, uh, South Korea, China, and, and Korea, those countries. Actually, this comparison is not comparable. Why? Because if you look into the history of South Korea, for example, they look into the issues in the 1970s. At the beginning of the 1980s, actually, they formulated all the policies, looking into how to work most, uh, more formalize the SME sector, uh, how to internalize the SME sector. And they, they have built very, many, many institutions. We are very far behind. I think the Dhaka Chamber of Commerce of late understanding, and, uh, and we are far behind, I think 30 years behind of South Korea. And, uh, uh, so uh, we cannot compare. Uh, with those economies, really. Now, in a, I'm looking into the global survey, <laughs> for example, how to, uh, what are the uh, SMEs facing globally uh, when they move, go to our social market? Uh, they identify seven factors. One factor is shortage of capital to finance is two. Second is identifying important business opportunities. Third is limited information and capability to analyze market. Fourth is lack of material skills and knowledge. Fifth is inability to contact overseas potential customers. Sixth is difficulty of establishing, finding distribution channels in the market. And seventh is lack of specialization in international marketing. So we are actually, finance is only one component. And if you look into the today's uh, speakers, I mean, the first presentation by Kuinur Yasmin, she mentioned that three things are actually impediment for export market. For first is uh, skill, and the second is technology, and uh, third is uh, the market and fourth is quality. Also, if you look into the other speakers, you find that a huge uh, lack of uh, in, uh, uh, infrastructure in the country uh, to support the asset potential of the service sector. Now, I'm looking into the, what Central Bank has done to internationalize the SME sector in Bangladesh. So, thanks to the uh, Data Chamber of Commerce, that at least uh, they have. Uh, uh, they are now moving forward. This, as you know, that we try to actually uh, put the regulation as per demand of the uh, of the situation, demand of the, uh, the market. So now looking into the uh, foreign exchange uh, facilities provided by the Bangladesh Bank to the uh, market participants, as you know, that we have developed an export development fund uh, to support the uh, exporters. Uh, the fund size is currently seven million US dollar. Make this actually you know, finance the. Uh, raw material uh, under uh, raw material in, input uh, under uh, export, so it is uh, to support the debt to be getting really. So here, actually, industry is a very dominant 4.5% at this moment, and uh, and it is actually available for any sector, uh, irrespective of um, uh, uh, any size. For this, uh, under this spreadsheet, you can say that same estimate sector is also included under this umbrella export development fund. Now, if you look into the pre shipment estimated facility uh, scheme initiated by Bangladesh Bank, that is function is actually 50 billion taka. Here, you see that interest rate is very 6%. This is also actually for petting credit, pre shipment uh, facility is provided. And here, utility bill payment, travel expenses, these are also included. And, and the maximum finance is actually 10% of commercial invest value exports or each consignment value. And duration of credit is here, one twenty days. This is also applicable for same SME sector. Now, looking to the actual facilities, pre finance fund. Bangladesh Bank has developed 1 billion TACA actual facility, facility pre financing fund to support the actual sector of the country. Actually, this is also for procurement, uh, procurement of raw materials uh, against the uh, export. And it, the, this procurement can be, uh, in, uh, uh, can, can be uh, procured from the internal sources or from external, it can be uh, domestic sources or overseas sources. So you can, um, you can use. Uh, this financing for back to back LC in local or foreign health as well. Now, looking into the domestic scenario uh, for the development of the SME sector, Bangladesh, I think, it has tremendous efforts to for, for formalizing the same SME sector. Uh, especially, uh, I think that during the, after the, uh, during the pandemic, when Honorable Prime Minister declared uh, uh, two, 200 billion uh, stimulus package for same SME sector. So Bangladesh Bank immediately actually formed a fund of uh, 100 billion taka from its own sources and 
substitute mediator, this is primarily the medium class short term capital needs of the SME sector. Subsequently, Bangladesh Bank realized that if you want to continue the sustainable development of the same SME sector, we have to, we have to provide long term financing, we have to provide uh, 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 a lot of financing for their sustainable development. And because of this, Bangladesh Bank immediately developed another fund from its own sources, and that is actually uh, the fund size is uh, 250 billion data. And then Bangladesh Bank also intervened in another area. Bangladesh Bank understood that, okay, if you want to continue our social development, if you want to share, uh, have a shared prosperity, if you want to have an equitable development, we need to actually intervene in another area. That is actually the human education. We actually have a developed a fund of 30 billion data for women and women. Then, for the, for the new, to develop new entrepreneurship in the CMSA sector, we have developed a fund of 1 billion data. And for startup, we have developed 5 billion data. That is 400 billion data. It is actually high power money. You will not find anywhere in, the, in any country, a central bank has done this kind of effort, creating high power money for the development of the CMSA sector. It's challenging. Now, look into the second approach. Bangladesh Bank actually followed five triangular approaches. First approach, I already mentioned, second approach. Bangladesh Bank has advised all the city banks and financial issues to finance the CMSME sector at least 23% of their total loan portfolio by 2030 and 24% of their total loan portfolio by 2040. As of August 23, total loan, amount of loans and advances in bank and FI sector was 15,060 billion taka, while CMLC sector loan and finance was taka 2,950 billion. That is, the sector has now carried almost 20% of loans and advance uh, available in the bank and financial sector. Now, Bangladesh Bank has also called another approach, that is third approach. Bangladesh Bank is implementing various donor funded projects targeting the CMLC sector of Bangladesh. Size of the, what is the size of this? Uh, this project, actually the, the major, major size of the six major project is 54 billion data, an interest rate and, uh, and border level interest rate is very nominal, it is uh, uh, from 5% and varies from, uh, goes up to 9%. So what are the major projects, I am not mentioning here because of that time, actually these projects are financed by Jaja, uh, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Asian Development Bank, Eastern Development Bank uh, and the First Development Bank. As you know that uh, for the graduation from LDC, of course we have to face some risks and, and we have to be prepared for this and one project is targeting this. That is uh, safety networks and environmental upgrades in the SME sector of the country, uh, providing how, uh, as you know that after 2006, 2006 we will get previous time in the EU. EU has a, uh, our export size, around the export market, so our export export has most of the EU market, and EU has a regulation and we will keep you we, they will give you three years to graduate. Otherwise, they will actually uh, uh, draw our productivity and delivery access to the market. And that regulation is that rather than social compliance, already they have issued a directive. So we have to move in these directions. So now, now looking to the as, as employment, uh, government, government has a, has a scheme, uh, scheme for employment investment program for creating new entrepreneurs and supporting the industry ones from skill development. And Bangladesh is already Damage job. This scheme, uh, scheme uh, SEIP project is actually supported by ADB and uh, Swiss Development Corporation. And Bangladesh that already trained a lot of new entrepreneurs and existing ones for their skill development. And another area here, the credit guarantee scheme, as mentioned by Professor Ayin <coughs> here, actually the, the fund size is here 20 billion taken. Up to now, 6,123 customers have been provided for uh, 4 billion. Uh, data uh, trade. Higher individual bank and FI portfolio is, is capped 30% and individual level guarantee coverage is 80%. Now I am going to answer to the special questions I or supplementary to the special questions of Professor Ryan, the keynote speaker of the session. He, he has mentioned that, uh, that SME suffers from internal economy of scale. But here you have to remember that SME suffers from uh, inter, uh, internal uh, economies of scale, but they have serious advantages. What? Because they are flexible to adapt to the situation. And they, and they are also flexible to put, adapt to the uh, new changes in technology. And they, this understanding actually goes go to the uh, policy maker of Southeast Asia. And that's why during the financial crisis they observe it very closely. They also 
find that the SMEs which are actually linked to international uh, export, they did not suffer. The domestic SME suffered because the domestic, due to financial crisis, the, the domestic uh, demand of those products declined, but overseas demand, demand did not decline. And because of this, actually, they survived and thrived. So we, we see that if you have to diversify your export portfolio, we have to go, must go to, uh, for SME internationalization and diversification. It is a must. And then, uh, okay. Yeah. Another aspect here is training. One, someone is asking that training. Uh, training is very important. Okay. Uh, um, I'm just putting one of the, I'm story, one story of Mojo Reddami. You know the Mojo Reddami businessman. You are saying that, okay, you know that why is the demand of leather, leather goes in Bangladesh? Not in the city. It is in the rural area, semi urban area. High product, high level products are demand is there. And he is saying that, you are saying sorry that for the country that saying that we could not develop a set of excellence for SME. For, uh, Center of Excellence in India, actually what they did, they had a Center of Excellence, uh, they actually uh, picked up all the scholars, all the, I mean, their uh, experts throughout the world, uh, and then they, they designed a, uh, uh, they trained them, the local uh, food engineers and uh, local uh, entrepreneurs, so that they can uh, build up their products as for foreign, uh, foreign uh, demand. So, uh, I think uh, my time is over. Okay, so I think that that is there. Uh, I appreciate uh, Dr. Chakra Kumar's for uh, arranging uh, such and we are actually uh, I'm working on this issue to develop it as uh, as an export ecosystem uh, in, uh, in Bangladesh. Uh, I'm very much interested in this area, and uh, I find it uh, very interesting that in today's I take one session uh, in Dr. Chakra Kumar's I think it is in 2014. I find that they are very uh, energetic and enthusiastic young. Uh, and the people who take the road for the country and I think that the country